I'm going to be sharing with you in this video how to stop living from the past. Okay? Because this is the problem that we're facing right now in society is we have a lot of people living in the past, recreating it in the present. But as Joe Dispenza always talks about, which is somebody that is totally in alignment with what it is that I'm teaching as well, which is that actually what you can do is you can focus on your future from the present, but you have to ground yourself in the present moment. And then when you ground yourself in the present moment from the space, you actually can start to become conscious of where you're simply recreating the same experiences. I'm going to be sharing with you in this video how to avoid this and also how to step into the solution, which is, of course, to start creating from the present and then into the future. So let's talk about that in this video. If you're new to my channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. If you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, there's going to be a link in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. I have extremely limited spots available for coaching, so if you do want to be part of my coaching, be sure to apply as soon as possible. So let's just get right into the video. Now, what we need to talk about is that living from the past, let's just be honest for a second, it's out of alignment with creation. It's out of alignment with the universe itself. And that might sound like a bold statement. It's like, how would you know that, Francis? Well, don't take my word for it. Notice it in your own experience. Has anything ever worked for you in a way that is beneficial for you and the people around you when you're attached and committed to comfortability and just feeling the same exact kind of feelings every single day and not really getting into any sort of environments where you're just a little bit excited but also a little bit scared at the same time and challenging who you used to be? Right? You got to start to ask yourself, where are you responsible for having the same experiences? It's like, oh, you know, my circumstances aren't allowing me to create what I want. Maybe for you, but I bet you 100% that there's another person with a similar circumstance, if not the exact same circumstance, that has overcome that challenge that you're struggling with. And you know what? You can accomplish that. You can get through that. But the first step is to realize, wait a second, my past doesn't define who I actually am. That's the problem we're facing in society, most humans. You know, I'm really thankful to have become conscious of, you know, when there are certain things in my life where what happens is that we start to repeat the same experiences again and again and again and again. But the only way to really get out of that is to actually start to focus on what it is that you prefer to create and focus from that present into the future and just have a clear, committed direction of where you want to go. Just as simple as that. Just having a clear direction in terms of where you want to go can already separate you from the masses <laughs> in, like, in like a way that literally is extremely significant. It's extremely significant just because like most people like don't even know where they're going. It's like they don't know, like they have, it's like, it's almost like, here's one way to describe it. Like this is like a good collection of words. It's like they're in an undecided state of consciousness. It's like well, I'm undecided. But that's totally a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm always trying to communicate to people. Like to be in a state of consciousness where you're undecided and you're simply in limbo and you know, recreating similar patterns and choosing because and like all these things are happening. And by the way, the only reason this is happening is because consciousness, which is you, if you're attached to this, if you have this scenario in your life or if you had in the past, this could, also, this could also apply to you if it's happening to you in the present. Uh, so maybe this video is going to be extremely beneficial for you. Maybe this will be like an epiphany moment for you. But all that's happening when somebody is not transforming or not leveling up or things aren't working or something's going wrong, something's out of harmony, all that's happening really is that consciousness has decided to cling itself onto like one state like one feeling. And then anything that feels different, it's like, nope, I shouldn't feel that. Comment down below if you've ever done this in your past and realized that that wasn't working. Where you actually were attaching to a feeling, trying to create like some sort of a state. Like for me, it was like, oh, I need to control my vibration or whatever, you know? 
<laughs> you know, like, and you know, the way you really can control your vibration, if there is even a way to do that, is actually to stop controlling your emotions completely and just surrender to that unconditional awareness. But from that space, then focus on your future because you create your space from the inside out now. Your mood is like less dependent on things happening. It's like you create your mood. It's like how do you get motivated? You create it by going out and creating things. <laughs> regardless of how you feel and then you get into a flow state where you feel amazing right you have to train yourself to do that regardless of any loop you're in you have to like snap yourself out of your own programs that's what you have to train yourself to do like it's just as simple as that like if you like if you if you understand what i'm communicating to you here right now you're not going to have a problem in business you're not going to have a problem with money you're not going to have a problem building relationships you're not going to have any of these problems you're not going to have problems all oh, i'm making the wrong choice and making the right choice. You're not going to have a problem with, like arguing with people about things that aren't in alignment with your highest intentions. You're not going to have like, you're not going to have that problem. Why is that? It's simply because all you've done is you've realized that you value your connectedness to your being more than anything that's happening, quote unquote, to you. And it was never happening to you. To see it in that way was simply a choice to step into that space of consciousness where, you know, like when people talk about like, oh my gosh, like this person's draining my energy. People like are like people come to me asking like, like oh my gosh, my energy's drained. It's like I always want people to know like, you know, that's totally a choice to put yourself into a space where you feel like you're drained. Like you don't have to do that. You know, so it's like this is why we have to stop living in the external world for our problems. Step into back back into our power and then create powerfully from that space of awareness what we prefer to see happen consciously become conscious creators and then now from this space we're going to see the things that we actually want to see happen in our life and really quite a, I don't want to say like effortless way because I don't know if like effortless is quite uh, the right word <laughs> but what I will say though is that it's really really important to surrender to the fact that you know, sometimes the best thing you can do is stop trying to do anything. You just simply be aware. Just simply be aware, right? Just be aware of what, what is happening. Don't try and change it. Don't try and fight it. Just be, be with it, you know? That's letting go. Congratulations, you just learned how to let go. Just allow what the experience is to be what it is from a space of awareness. Just you are aware of what is happening. There could be a storm happening. You could feel an emotion. You could be angry. You could be sad. Don't even label it as anything. Just be aware of what it is. You know, and that's it. And now, from that space, go create what you want. Because, like, everything just is already what it is. And you may as well go create what you want once you realize it is what it is anyways. And let's say, like, why not just focus on what I want? You know, why not? What's, what else is there to do? And now, you've gained back your sovereignty. Now, you're not entangled. Check out my video that I posted yesterday on quantum entanglement. It's going to be right over here. And what you'll realize is that, actually, you don't have to be entangled to your environment anymore. You don't have to be quantumly like sort of pulled into these things that you have no intention of of being in there because it's not helping you or any like you don't like you're just like I don't even want to go into that space anymore. That's all you're gonna be like it's like you can go there if you want, but it's like what's the point? What's the point of going down that down that down that road? Like you've been there. Like you've been there. So what I'm inviting you to do is to live from a more conscious space where you notice yourself caught up in some patterns of the past, some emotions of the past, some conditioning in the mind that's pulling you into fear, 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 fear. And you know what? I'm really not joking when I say that this is the most valuable information you can really learn in your life when it comes to being a human being. Because like they need to teach us in schools. I think it's already happening at this point. It has to be. They have to be teaching us. This is mandatory information. And if it's not, then we need to make that happen absolutely because like it's just so simple like the skill the skill like the skill to notice when you're caught up in a program and out of alignment with your values that's going to take you to you know infinite possibilities that's going to help you to manifest your reality that's going to like because that's that's the core thing that stops people from creating what they want is just simply an attachment to one state of consciousness thinking this is all that it is and I need to be attached to this comfortability and an unwillingness to expand the awareness and just step into different environments, different feelings, different emotions, you know, different skill sets and like different things, like things that are a little bit awkward, you know, like for example, like I always talk about when you learn to ride a bike for the first time, it feels a little bit awkward, but how exciting was that? 
like when you were a little kid to learn how to ride the bike just just as much as it was uncomfortable it was super exciting and epic you see what i'm saying and there's no coincidence there why that is the case that's not like a oh my gosh that's just not random random because of excitement and a little bit of fear not like dangerous like where you're like oh my gosh i'm panicking just like a little just a little bit of like yeah like this is a little bit challenging you know and like a little bit awkward that's the excite that's where the excitement is and that's uh not an accident whatsoever because those are actually two sides to the same thing which is you know how do you like if somebody's actually excited about what they're doing they're going to be a little bit scared of what they're doing too just a little bit and if they're not they're not actually excited they're caught up in a program and if they're aware and conscious beings they'll be actually aware of when they're caught up in a program and getting sort of out of alignment with their values and realize when something is swaying their consciousness and then that's when it's like no wait a second <laughs> no wait a second no that's not happening I remain grounded in who I am and what I'm doing and what I'm creating and what I like to see happen in the world and you know even project a little bit of my personal bias like yep this is what I love to see because nobody's going to see the things in the same way that I see them I like to see things and maybe somebody else doesn't resonate with that doesn't matter because I'm focused on what I'm excited about and I'm focused on what I want to create and I'm focused on what I want to see happen in the world and most people don't give themselves permission to step into that space of being excited about what they really want to see they are pretending that they're excited about things that they don't even care about including other people's things and like things that they're doing and it's like actually they don't care they need some little bit of like that edge to, to put them on edge a little bit to actually put them into that space of excitement and that's super super important to actually be aware of this because if you're not aware of this what happens is that you get lost in a program right that's just what it is you know either you're continually becoming aware of your programs and transcending them and up leveling up leveling to higher higher level paradigms or you're stuck in a program that's like that's pretty much two types of people that you'll see in life people that are contracting and contracting and contracting and going seemingly into a more downward state and people that are continually pushing themselves to expand consciously willingly not forcefully but willingly stepping out into their comfort zone not necessarily within overly overly forcing themselves to do something that they're not resonating with that's not what i'm encouraging whatsoever uh, all i'm saying is that it's very important to simply be aware of how you're doing what it is that you're doing like that is literally the one thing that is going to allow you to step into what it is that you really want to step into is by focusing from the foundational space of how you're doing what you're doing are you focused on the past in a program or are you creating what you want from this present moment grounded in who you are simultaneously very effortlessly quite naturally gravitating towards what you want to create in the future you know that's what you want to be asking yourself every single day and with that i conclude this video once again if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation it's also going to be in the comments of this video as well also if this video was supportive for you in any way and there's something that you want to share leave a comment down below sharing what it is that you want to share i would love to hear what you have to say and i read every single comment also please hit that like button for me so that more people can get access to this content why because i do believe that every single person on, every single person on this planet does deserve to know that they are divine creators of their reality and that they can manifest their reality in the most effortless and easeful way possible helping themselves and helping others in the process as well and hitting that like button does help the youtube algorithm push the videos out to more people and that would be greatly appreciated as always enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video